In this video, we're gonna be talking about the super hexagon. So, ano nga ba itong super hexagon? Ginagamit siya upang hindi na natin sa uluhin ang mga trigonometric identities. And if you're about to take examinations involving trigonometric identities, this is a big help to you. Okay, let's start. So, ang super hexagon ay, of course, binubuo siya ng isang hexagon, a six-sided polygon. And familiar tayo sa tangent equals sine over cosine. Okay? Doon tayo mag start sa pagbuo ng ating super hexagon. So, we have sine. So, yung 1 is nasa center nung super hexagon natin. So, let's start with tangent equals sine over cosine. Okay? Ano ba yung nandito? That is the opposite of tangent, which is cotangent. Next is the cosecant and the secant. So, tandaan natin pag hinati natin ang super hexagon vertically, lahat ng nasa right sides and right side, they start with C. So, cosine, cotangent, cosecant. So, that is the clue in uh, creating the super hexagon. So, let's start with the reciprocal identities. So, how are we going to obtain these identities using our super hexagon? Let's start with this. If we're going to, to start with sine, so just go from sine going 1 to cosecant. So, that will be sine equals 1 over cosecant. Okay, that is our first reciprocal identity. Then, if you're going to start with cosecant, that will be cosecant equals 1 over sine. Next, if we're going to start with tangent, that will be tangent equals 1 over cotangent. Then, if you're going to start with cotangent, that will be cotangent equals 1 over tangent. Next, if you're going to start with cosine, that will be cosine equals 1 over secant. And if you're going to start with secant, that will be secant equals 1 over cosine. So you can also derive these identities. For example, uh, you have sine theta times cosine theta. That will be equal to 1. Uh, tangent times cotangent, that is also equal to 1. Cosine times secant, that is equal to 1. Okay? You can derive the identities depende sa kung ano yung kailangan nating gamitin. Okay, let's uh, proceed to other one. So again, guhit tayo ng super hexagon. Yung 1 ay nasa center. We have tangent equals sine over cosine. The opposite of tangent is cotangent. Then kapag hinati natin ang super hexagon vertically, lahat ng nasa kanan starts with C. So cosine, cotangent, this is cosecant. So of course, this is the secant. Right? So now let's obtain the Pythagorean identities. So, how are we going to obtain these identities using our super hexagon? So, ang gagamitin lang natin na parts ng super hexagon natin ay this part, this part, and this part. Okay? So, it would, uh, it will move in clockwise direction. So, let's start with this part. So, we have sine going to cosine going to 1. So, what is the Pythagorean identity obtained in this part? That is, the sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1. Right? That is the first Pythagorean identity. Second, 1 going to cotangent going to cosecant. So, this is the identity. 1 equals cotangent squared theta equals cosecant squared theta. Lastly, that is from tangent going to 1 going to secant. 
the Pythagorean identity is tangent squared theta plus 1 plus secant squared theta. So again, we can also derive these identities depende sa pangangailangan natin. For example, you are going to define or you're going to find the cosecant theta. So just simply move the sec uh, sine squared theta to the other side. So that will be cosine squared theta equals 1 minus sine squared theta. Okay, ulitin ko, depende sa pangangailangan ninyo. Kung ano yung kakailanganing identity sa bawat problem. You can derive the identities obtained using this super hexagon. Next set. So again, let's draw the super hexagon. So inulit-ulit lang natin dito sa video yung paggawa ng super hexagon upang mas mag-retain sa inyong isipan. So let's have the super hexagon again. So ang center ay 1. So we have tangent equals sine over cosine. The opposite of tangent is cotangent. Again, lahat ng nasa right side kapag hinati natin ang super hexagon vertically, lahat ay nag-uumpisa sa letter C. So this is cosecant and this is secant. Now, let's obtain the quotient identities. So move tayo ng clockwise muna and start tayo sa tangent. Okay, so if we're going to start with tangent, going to sine, going to cosine, so what identity are we going to obtain? That is tangent equals sine over cosine. Okay, so that is the quotient identity. Next, if we're going to start with sine, we're going to obtain sine equals cosine over cotangent. Next, we're going to start with cosine. That is cosine equals cotangent over cosecant. Next, if we're going to start with cotangent, that is cotangent equals cosecant over secant. Next, if we're going to start with cosecant, that is cosecant equals secant over tangent. Lastly, if we're going to start with secant, that is secant equals tangent over sine. Okay, again and again, we can derive these identities depending sa ating pangangailangan sa problem na ating sinosolve. Okay, for example, we are finding sine. We might use sine is equal to tangent times cosine. Okay, we can also use this if this is applicable to our problem. Now, let's have the quotient identities in counterclockwise direction. Let's start again with tangent. So, tangent is equal to secant over cosecant. Next, if we're going to start with secant, that is secant equals cosecant over cotangent. Next, if we're going to start with cosecant, that is cosecant equals cotangent over cosine. Next, if we're going to start with cotangent, that is equivalent to cosine over sine. And if we're going to start with cosine, that is equal to sine over tangent. And lastly, we're going to start with sine that is equivalent to tangent over secant. So these are the basic trigonometric identities na maaari natin gamitin in solving problems na nangangailangan ng mga ganito. Memorize no more dahil nandito ang super hexagon na maaaring makatulong sa atin ng malaki. Okay? So, this ends our video and if you have learned something from here, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. God bless you.